The next story is, is one of the most interesting. And, and this guy is, this, this is the story of the country singer being the aggressor and not the victim. Are you talking about Spade We're we talking about old Spade Cooley. The king of, what is it, like Western Swing? Swing, yes. He Way was a, back in the day. This is what? 30s and 40s is when he yeah. when he first got his, his hit. He was out in Cali. Mm-hmm. So now we got to blame Hollywood for this one. This ain't our. This ain't our guy. <laughs> Did this take place in California? California, yes. Really? This was one of the most sensational court cases California's ever seen. They said well, because he was so popular, and in the thirties and forties he had a swing. It was swing time, and they were just he had a band, and they were just uh-huh. killing it and killing. It. And then the thing about being a country singer in in California as opposed to Tennessee is. There's also Hollywood right there. So he's mm-hmm. starring in all these old old Western movies. And right. So his face, and he got a cool name, honestly. Spade yeah, Cooley. Yeah, Spade Cooley. That's, I mean, that sounds like a rapper name today. I'm Spade <laughs> Cooley. So that's a that's a dope name. So anyway, he would um have a show where he would have uh his band and one pretty girl on the, on the scene. And then he would swap out these pretty girls every few months when they would, you know, he would get tired of them. He finally picked one and he married her. And he married this girl and then they became lovers and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So they the, had a family. They had a family. 30s and 40s, he's killing it. And then in the 50s, his show gets canceled. His star is mm. starting to fade. People aren't showing him that respect anymore. You know, it's hard for There's men. new people on the scene. Of course, and they're younger now. Because you got to imagine, he started in the 30s. That's 20 years ago. Right. First of all, that's, a, that's still a long-ass great career. Definitely. But, you know, some dudes' egos can't handle it. So Never enough. He took his whole fortune and invested in like 1,200 acres out in California somewhere, Northern California, to make water, some kind of water land, mm-hmm. like some kind of theme park. And he got all these investors and he put all his money in thinking that everybody was going to swarm to this and this was going to be his big money getter. Like Elon Musk, he thought this was going to be his, <sighs> his Tesla. And then he's going to be this, this mega business real estate genius, but he ends up losing it no one gives a shit about this water park no one ever comes and now <laughs> he's stressed out and he's pissed because now all his money's gone he spent all his money on this shit. right so now he turns to the bottle Big dreams yeah so now he's turned to the bottle old spade cool he's a drunk now he's mean there's already been rumors that he's been beating his wife you know she went to the hospital and called and i think i need to stay a little longer she would you know back in the day you can't say it she can't say hey i'm getting beat Cause hell, if he, everybody she, was getting beat back yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. It was like, hey, of course you're getting beat. It's Tuesday. Yeah, that's what people do. You get beat. You know what I mean? So she was just like, I don't want to necessarily go home, but they sent her home anyway. And then one day, matter of fact, yeah, he did have a daughter because the daughter he came home one day. Oh, the daughter had to be there, mm-hmm. which was what was so fucked. I know about Spade mm-hmm. Cooley was that he deliberately wanted her to watch. Wow. When he beat the shit out of his wife and then killed her, like on crazy. the kitchen floor, right? Yes, crazy. Beat her to death with his bare hands, mm-hmm. no weapons. Mm. This is just a man that is that is uh, uh, angry, evil. And then he's got this song that's like, "Shame on you." Yeah. Shame, shame, shame on you. When when art imitates life or life imitates art, whichever one it is, that song should be dedicated Ew. just for him. It is, yeah. Because you had a great career, bro. Now, mind you, you got uh, you got lucky really early in the thirties, in the forties. You were killing it. You had a twenty year career of killing it on TV. And then he killed he killing it again, and he killed her right there in, in cold the, blood on the kitchen floor. And made the daughter watch. Then it was such a misogynistic world, and he was such a big star. And of he course, didn't even get the police and the court. It's all men, right? And they're all white dudes, and they're and they're like, that's my guy. Yes, our guy Spade. Yeah, Cooley. what'd she do this time, Spade? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why'd she make you kill her, dude? I don't know how know how these bitches are. Yeah. So they get to the, the courthouse and and they they're so lenient on them. Mm-hmm. She said that everybody said they noticed that they, you know the cops are they's having breakfast with the cops and and definitely they're they're bringing him food and he's hanging out and they gave him a real light sentence. He's supposed to get I think no I think he got life. He's supposed to get life. Because it was so much evidence that you clearly killed her. They got evidence that you've been beating on her for years. The, the daughter saved it. They said the daughter had to go on on the stand and say he beat my mom all the time. He even molested me. Yeah. As people don't people throw that under the rug. He was an incestual man too. Yeah. He's having sex with his own daughter allegedly. This is her her testimony, 
And um, so in, with within all that, with her testimony, and she and he's like staring a hole in the whole time, trying to use that mental oh, manipulation, for sure. trying to like you know scare her, like I did your mother like that. I'm sure that's what you know. What's what he's trying to do? I did right. your mother like that. I'll do you like that. Put anyway, the fear she, in her. She's brave enough to. Cause first of all, you have to understand that's that's crazy to deal with. One parent is gone, right? And the other parent is a murderer who. So you don't even have anybody to really turn to. But she was brave enough to say, "Hey." This is the truth. This is what happened. Mm-hmm. He goes to jail. The police love this man so much. Within eight years, I believe, he gets out of jail. Oh, God. And they say, hey, you get out of jail, but on one term, you have to come and perform at this police convention. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they said, hey. Back they to said, blue. They said, hey, Sp- uh, Spade Cooley, get your ass out here, and you're going to perform at this police convention. He's like, I don't give a damn. So he goes up, puts his nice gear on. And he's hitting his strings, and he's performing, gets off stage, has a heart attack, and dies. <laughs> hey, good way to go. <laughs> you know, like, his first day of, I don't know if that was his first day of freedom or freedom was supposed to be the next day. But he got out of jail, performed, and then he was like, I'm sure he was thinking, okay, I'm going to get me some liquor tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to buy some weed. He was I'm so gonna... excited, he just had a heart attack yeah, and yeah. died right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God was like, hell no, bro. Give me your fucking heart. You're not going to just be out here kicking mm. 